talking of proper challenges, oh, how about 54 amazing. hours in the water that Sarah Thomas swam into the record books earlier this week? The first person ever to swim the channel, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times non-stop. I mean, ridiculously difficult. After swimming 215 kilometres, Sarah, who had treatment for breast cancer last year, dedicated her swim to all the survivors out there. And I'm thrilled to say that she joins us live from Dover. Good morning to you. My goodness, I'm amazed that you want to get close enough to the water there. I would have thought you'd have had enough of it <laughs> by now. How are you doing? Because I know I... <laughs> one of the biggest problems when you finished was the salt water had really, really affected your voice and throat. Yes, it really has. It's been better in the last couple of days, but it's still a little painful. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously, Sarah, lots of people swim the channel uh, because it's an extraordinary stretch of water and it's a very, very serious challenge. Nobody ever has swum it four times. Uh, just one question, why? Mm. <laughs> because I'm a little bit crazy, I okay. think. <laughs> It, 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 but in terms, in terms of a challenge, you're a long-distance swimmer and you've really got into your open warming, water swimming. How seriously difficult was this? We've just been watching on Channel 4 over here a group of celebrities trying to swim at once on single swim and they didn't get to the other side mm -hmm. because the weather became so bad and the water became so choppy. How hard was it for you? How far did you want to swim and how far did you end up actually swimming? It was a pretty hard swim. I mean, it is extraordinary what you went through. Took us through the process then. First of all... So choppy. How... So that means no sleep. How do you get the, the, you know, yourself ready for even just that, apart from anything else? Yeah, the not sleeping part is really, really hard um, because you do need to stay really focused when you're in the water so that you're, you know, swimming next to the boat and paying attention to what your crew is telling you. And you just, it takes some practice and it takes just being really strong in your mind. Um, and if I found myself kind of drifting or feeling like I wanted to take a nap, uh, my team did have a little bit of caffeine on the boat so that they could toss me, um, a little pick me up to kind of perk me up and get me focused again. Uh, what about the more practical things as well, uh, Sarah, uh, in terms of uh, eating? and uh, relieving yourself, if I can be that indelicate at this time of the hour, because, of course, that's it, 54 <laughs> hours. There must have been periods when, when you were uncomfortable. Yes, for sure. Um, so for eating, um, we just have a water bottle tied to a rope, and uh, most of my calories come from just a carbohydrate mix that I use. And so, you know, I get my liquids and my calories all in one place, so it's pretty quick and easy that way. And then... Um, I have just learned to be really efficient about um, peeing while I swim. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's put very nicely. So what now then? I imagine since you, you finished, you've mainly been sleeping and resting. Is that it? Are you done? Or is there something in your mind that makes you think, I want to do more? You know, there's no plans for anything just yet. What was that like when eventually you knew you were done and it was over? What was that moment like? It was a little bit surreal. Um, we had been swimming toward shore, it felt like forever through the night and kind of in the dark and with your swim goggles on, you just, you, there's no depth perception or perspective as to where you're at. And my crew just kept telling me, you're close, you're close. And I kind of quit believing them. And so when we, when I finally saw the shore come up underneath me, um, I almost didn't believe it. I was like, did I make it? Am I really here? Um, I had no idea where we had landed. So I was just like confused and out of it um, and just really happy to be sitting on the ground and not moving anymore. I bet, I bet. Well, it's an extraordinary achievement. You've done it, You'll, you know, no one can ever take that away. What were some of the brilliant things about doing it? Was it? Was there anything that you sort of discovered about yourself or, or about just being in that water that was positive as well as all the challenges? You know, it, this swim took a lot out of me mentally. Um, physically, I felt really strong um, and I was really comfortable in the water. The cold wasn't an issue. Um, the salt water messed up my mouth, but, you know, not, it was what I was expecting. So, you know, physically, there was nothing really out of the ordinary. But mentally, I just really had to push through some demons. Um, you know, with all my cancer treatment, 
there was some self-doubt where I didn't necessarily believe that I had what it took anymore. Um, there were a couple of points during the swim where I told my team that, you know, I thought I was done and I didn't have what it would take to make it, you know, back again. And, you know, I really just had to dig super deep and believe in myself and listen to my team who was encouraging me and, you know, telling me that I could do it just to keep going. And, um, yeah, it's, there were some really dark moments where I, I thought I was going to quit. So, yeah, there were some good learning experiences that even, you know, in the darkest of times, there's still a chance that you can achieve good things if you just believe in yourself. Unquestionably, and as that sun comes up behind you in Dover, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. You have achieved something remarkable. No one on the globe has ever done what you have done, and that will stay with you forever. Uh, you are uh, uh, just an extraordinary, extraordinary person, Sarah. We'll just take our hat off to you and what you've yeah. managed to achieve. Congratulations. Uh, and, and maybe stay on dry land for a bit, eh? Yeah, yeah maybe just go back to bed. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you've earned it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> You're quite right. Thank you so much for getting up to talk to us this morning. Really, really lovely, lovely, lovely to meet you.